In this video, let's talk about another category of always continuous function which is named as trigonometric function. Now we already know what are the various trigonometric functions. They are namely of six types that is sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, cotangent and what is the inverse of cos that is secant. So there are six trigonometric functions. Now as I already said you that without a miss you just have to memorize that yes if in any question you find trigonometric functions they will be always continuous. There is no problem with proving them but yes we will be wasting our time. So it's always tricky to prove them again and again so it's better we memorize them. So in this video I will be particularly taking sine function. There is no need to although prove it but once let's see how to prove the continuity of sine function. Just as we do sine function similarly you will be doing cos function and in the next video I will be taking up tan. But the rest there is no need to prove cosecant, cotangent and secant that you already remember that yes they are always continuous in their domain. So let me talk about sine function in this video and in the next we will be talking about tan rest trigonometric functions you can always remember and do yourself. So trigonometric functions are always continuous in their domain wherein we are taking up sine function. Now if you are taking up sine function that means my function is y is equal to sin x or I say that it is also equal to fx and I know that if I need to prove this I need to basically prove what I need to prove that limit in the left hand limit I say is equal to the right hand limit is equal to the value of the function this I need to prove right. So basically if I need to prove this for continuity I might say that first let me check what is f of a wherein I take a as any arbitrary real number. So I say a b an arbitrary real number and now when I have knowledge of what is a I know the formulas related to sine function let me prove its continuity right. So I have what I have f of a. What is f of a? It means in the function you have to put a. So what is fx? It is sine x wherever you have x now you have to put a so it becomes sine a. This is the value of f of a. Now let me check whether my left hand limit has the same value as f of a. So LHL is what? Let's check. LHL means left hand limit so it becomes limit x tends to a negative f of x. That means you have to approach a but in the left hand limit from the left hand side. Now x tends to a negative if I need to replace it with something called as h so I put h tends to 0 and in the place of fx it becomes sine x would be there. So it is sin a minus h. You already know how we did this. Now what is the formula of sin a minus b? It is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b right. So let's put that formula limit h tends to 0. It becomes sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Now what changes to be adopted? Let's see. Since limit is there, there are two terms, we can always take the limit to both the terms one by one. So firstly limit will go with this also, then we have a negative sign and the limit goes with this also, right? Now sin a cos h, sin a behaves as a constant, comes outside, then we have limit h tends to 0 cos h, right? Sin a behaves as a constant, it comes outside because a is an arbitrary number. So a may be anything sine of that value is real only comes outside constant cos h is here then is minus sign cos a sin h this time what we have this time we have cos a as the real number constant comes outside then the limit goes with sin. I hope this makes sense and it is clear. Now what happens now you see what is the value of limit h tends to 0 cos h cos h. You are saying that okay it is not equal to 0 but it is very very much near to 0 and in the limiting case cos 0 will be what? Cos 0 is 1. So it is sin a into 1, sin a into 1 then it is minus sin, cos a is outside, 
what is limit h tends to 0 sin h again you are saying that okay h is not equal to 0 but it is very much near to 0 and it is the limiting case so sin 0 is what sin 0 is 0 so cos a multiplied by 0 so anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so this is disappearing because anything minus 0 does not make sense and sin a ones are sin a so it is sin a so that means f of a was sin a LHL was sin A is sin A. These two are equal. If RHL, if RHL also is sin A, my function is continuous. We are basically proving sin to be continuous. We know it already, but still we are proving, right? So RHL would go the same. I'm not doing everything. I'm not doing all the steps. I'm just telling you in RHL what will happen? Limit x tends to a positive sin x, right? And then wherever you had sin a minus h, you will be writing sin a plus h. Very short. I am just writing what has to be done in simple manner, crystal clear, simply short steps. Now, sin a plus b, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So wherever you had minus, here also it becomes plus, here also it becomes plus in case of right hand limit. Now plus will come here, plus will come here. Sin A plus 0 is what? It is sin A only. So again what you get is sin A as the answer. So now you see. You started with something called as yes I need to prove the continuity. You got the value of the function. The left hand limit and the right hand limit all three equal and all three equal to sin A. That means what? When these three are equal and they are equal to a finite number or quantity. I say that the given function is continuous. So sin function is continuous in its domain and similarly I can prove other functions also like cos, secant, cotangent and all but yes in this video let's take up the proof of tan function is continuous in its domain.